Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> oh, I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Ready? Aim. Fire. Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! I'm ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his... Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet. Oh, Thanks. hello. Been a while since you were around this way. With you in a moment. Money to be made on the new railroad for those ah, who know perfect timing. I've got a message here for you. <clears throat> this is for you. Watch yourself with this one. Should be two, maybe three coaches, and they'll be well guarded. All right, don't you worry about me. But I do worry. It's my curse. Are you well? How do you do?
in the foot, some bitch. Helen, Acre here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, Hello? but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, you can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You. Maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Hi, yikes! I'm fine. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again! Up. Right here! Right. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the man. Don't worry, sir. Miner made us. A... <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My temple. Gentlemen, yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive. Shoot him, please. One of you. There, there. Up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> Let's get you back to your room. Come on, keep up. I'm Pastor's fine. Been more really? More it's that wretch who needs the rest. Up. I've never been better. Truly, I could ride to Strawberry in the state I'm in. Both of you are going to bed, and that's the end of it. A bath. Maybe that's what I need. Would you bathe me, sweet Helen? Do you hear that wretch? That lascivious monster? If you're bathing anyone, you're bathing me. And you can be assured Here's of my chivalry, fair girl. There. Good morning. I need to get him to bed, okay? Goodbye, mister. Whoa, now. Very good. Mr. Mason. Oh, oh. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. 
I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. But I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh! Oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, oh, thank you. <sighs> you know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. <sighs> you know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Tom, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible?
Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. She was a fool then, Arthur. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, 
He thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Maybe he's off the throttle there, sir. to be lower. There's not enough wind at this altitude. I told you we need to descend or we won't move. Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? My 
My mother was a keen student of the Italianate. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, we're getting a little high now. slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Add a little more heat, Mr. Morgan. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Al. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, That's you know. not him. You look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That ain't John. Looks like it. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascend! Ascend! Didn't I tell you this would happen? This is absolutely insane. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf! Alright, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this.
there, Mr. Morgan. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches!
with you soon enough. Looks like we made it. That'll show them. What the hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm-mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. <laughs> sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston! You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <clears throat> oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well... <laughs> You certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. Okay, girl. Been a while.
When I get in, you carry on. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. A chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? The mayor is a crook. <laughs> me too. I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I didn't hear you. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. As you were. Come on! One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. <laughs> 